This is going to be another hands-on educational video about managing YouTube Christians, very militant ones. I've got an example right now of some of the poorest kind that you could possibly find that are very common, very aggressive, very angry. They're simple little devices that can't function. <laughs> their, their job is to go around and like smear crap all over the walls. That's, a, that's all they accomplish. Okay, we run into this and I did a video on this that actually was more interesting than my interpretation video. So let's go ahead and do that because this is what we have to deal with. And I'm going to suggest to you that there are certain brain types. I can tell you I have been doing this for many years, researching, looking, digging. I'm more pulled back now, but there was a time I was really out there all over the place trying to absorb things, trying to pull things in, learning stuff. And I'm going to tell you that in a I'm sure this is global, but there's a brain type and you will find it in Abraham and you will find it incredibly with it. What you see right here and Muslim males, young Muslim males and young Christian males have that have this certain brain type are these incredibly unreasonable, very aggressive, very broken down mind shut. And there there's something going on there that you look at and go, you know what, that's kind of a that's kind of a common personality. I find that all over the place among some people. There are people that are seekers. They've got one kind of personality. There's there's those that are introverted. There's people that can't stop, you know, that can't live life unless they're yammering away with somebody. I know somebody that I had to get away from before because they would just it was like I, I, I don't know. My head doesn't work that way. We have different personality types. When the material talks in the beginning about us arriving with certain qualities already in place that we have no control over. That's it right there. When God names everything before man names everything, those are the things that I show up with on my own that I don't have any control over. Then my life experiences are the things that I name. Then I become that. So, okay. So for me, I mean, I, there's a point where I didn't want to see any of that stuff, but I'm a far enough along now where I realize, you know what? I want to understand the dynamic of that. I want to know how to interact with that. And how do you do that? You got to go play with the stuff you don't like. So you got to take on these people and, and address them. And, um, it's, it's actually not difficult. Okay. I'm going to tell you from the, if, if you're, if you're seeking, you, you have this idea is that we don't have all the same brain types and that there are brains that can comprehend and see things from a larger perspective than other ones. Simple minds like theirs are designed to be a program in the group that is running to protect the group to err on the side of safety at all costs. Go get that. Something's coming. Go kill that. Go kill that. Go accuse that. Get. You, that's all they do. Bam. You, and that's how they act out. And it's completely unreasonable as well. It is incredibly unreasonable. The person you can see that the person has a conviction that they bring to the table. They are operating with programming. They don't even know what's going on. They haven't even talked to you. They just come at you like you are the enemy. Yeah, that's exactly it. So how do we deal with that? What's going on? And you know what? Jesus teaches this person right here. We're going to know him by his fruits. All right, let's just get into it. My name is Dan Paulson, and uh, I'm going to read his comment and talk about the video that it was on a little bit. Okay, it was on my recent video that I titled Christian Science, Humanity's Greatest Oxymoron, A Seeker's View. Okay, so that's me looking at it. That's not me as a Christian or as a... Not as a theist or an atheist. This is me as a seeker, an open-minded seeker. I am not making claims of anything. I am seeking. <laughs> okay. If you make claims of what is there, you are not seeking. This has to be unwrapped. It is simple, and we don't we don't have it figured out. Am I clear on that? If you are a theist with the material or an atheist material with the material, you are not seeking with the material. The seeking is open-minded with a moat out of the eye, with poor in spirit. There's a lot to this. And what I do is honestly, it, and it sounds like teaching, this is what I'm doing is offering up my interpretations. This is what people have to come to on their own. I always tell people that this is a personal path. If you follow someone, you're not on the path. The only one way the narrow gate is a personal in your mind path. So nobody here is preaching, teaching, or telling anybody anything except look what I'm finding in the material. And if I apply it this way, it heals my life. That's what I see them teaching us. Then it's up to each person to say yay or nay. Okay. So that's the one where I talked about how science and religion don't even belong on the same table and that religion tries to scramble onto the table with science. Let me talk about that. We're, we're, we're working through cause and effect. And what I mean here is that when you're discussing the veracity, the viability, 
all of the things that you have to show that provides evidence of what you claim. Religion today more and more is using science terms and what science findings are in an effort to do that. You never find science going, hmm, the universe, we don't understand it. Therefore, it must have been some supernatural creation and we're done looking. Okay, those are not remotely the same processes. What does that tell us? That means from a foundational standpoint, science can stand on its own. Religion is trying to use science's footing to stand itself up. That's where we are in civilization. Okay, let's move on to this. All right, so Shuggy starts right off with his saying right here, science is worship like it's the greatest religion of all times, and it's a religion that's now been taught to the entire world. In fact, it's become so popular that it's hard to find anyone who actually disagrees with its authenticity, such as the level of manipulation and indoctrination involved here. Yes, <laughs> science is all fake and it's being taught to people and it's manipulating all of them. <laughs> wow, okay. Give us one free miracle and we'll explain the rest. Want to discuss this further? Okay, watch this. Although I must warn you beforehand, I don't think you can win the argument. Since your understanding of the subject falls way short of the required standards, I'm afraid. Still, let's see if you have the courage of your convictions. Explain why you don't need faith to believe in science. Now, I'm not going to respond to his questions. What I'm going to do is demonstrate what he's doing. First, right off, he, he sets things up conditions exactly the opposite of what they are. Who gets up on any morning, pick your own holy day, and worships the manufacturer of aspirin and ibuprofen or silicon chips used in the phone or whoever figured out how to make gasoline to get our internal combustion engines down the road. All of this is science-based stuff. Who gets up and worships that? <laughs> okay. People go worship something supernatural, but they don't worship natural. Okay. They don't go to the doctor when they get a, a shot that, you know, keeps them from being sick and worship the doctor as some sort of a healer. That doesn't happen. You know? So what do you have right here? First off, the person comes at you with exactly the opposite and tells you this is what it is. Meanwhile, what did he bring to the table? Nothing. Nothing. Just said, saying science is, he didn't say science is fake. He's saying science is a religion that has been taught around the world. <laughs> it's, isn't education. And I do want to say that in the end, he did ask a question about how come you don't need to have faith to, to believe in science? I'm not going to answer that question because he completely lied in the opening paragraph. The question isn't valid. If I say that this is wet and it has certain properties that I can claim that and write it up and make a paper on it, and then somebody around the world can look at it and go through it and come up with the same results and say yes. that We can both break it down chemically, and I could say, well, it's, I find hydrogen and oxygen here as a combination of, uh, you know, two hydrogen and one oxygen um, atom is what water is, and so many of those that here we have it. And somebody else around the world would do the same test and go, yep, it's exactly that. It's hydrogen and oxygen. There's no doubt. That's science. Science is not. I had cancer, my doctor told me, and after I prayed to God, now it's okay. All right, well, let's try to test that. And now everybody else that has cancer, go ahead and pray to God, see what happens. Hmm. Okay, do you see the difference? If God was there healing cancer, everybody that prayed, we would, we would know that. Okay, so, <laughs> and then what happens then? Then it goes off into this, here's, here's somebody that's going to set opposite conditions and then, then do something like they're challenging your manhood or something. Okay, so this is some, like some little kid coming at you with a wet noodle. I know you won't fight because you don't know anything. It sounds more like Pee Wee Herman, honestly, than, well, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, I, I mean, he can't help it. Um... But we have to deal with it. And you know what? There isn't going to be comprehension. You know right off the bat that the unreasonable nature of this is so severe that it's like, Psh, yeah, this is a shutdown wall. But what you see, honestly, there is no cognitive skills. You just have people making basket-based claims that are way off, that have nothing behind them, and then want to fight and argue with that. It would be like somebody coming up to you and saying, the sky is not blue when you look at it. 
and you could say yes and they would say no it's not it's like talking to a flat earther somebody that just sets things up and it's like they're not they're not here to have a discussion they're here because they're angry and they want to they want to attack you they want to fling poop on the wall <laughs> that's what they're here for okay back to my reply i told him watch the video and i would try to understand this I run my channel, and that high horse of yours is a broomstick pony. So right there, I'm letting him know right now, yeah, I'm not going to play your game. Who are you supposed to be anyway? I'm letting him know right there. Okay, so he's what he's done is he's come up with his words, and he's squared off against me. And he's expecting me to say, I love you, or something like that, or whatever, or get into it with him, or tell him, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. He wants to do that, and I'm not going to. But I, I, I know that that's what he wants to do, so <laughs> I just don't participate. Who are you supposed to be anyway? Post some videos on your channel if you have the courage of conviction. Yeah, you go look at it people's channels that tell you to do stuff like that. What are they doing? Nothing. And then I said, clean that up and act human or the measure you meet will see you meet it right out the door. All right. He's already acting human, isn't he? Yeah, that was just, but I told him to clean it up. I'm kind of putting it, I'm, I'm throwing it back at him, but I'm doing it in a, a little more polite way. But then you know what? I throw some Bible in there or the measure you meet We'll see you meet it right out the door. So I will use some Jesus verbiage and let him know what that is. And those do a couple of things for me. Number one, it, 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 it lets me know if the person responds to that or figures it out. Most people don't even know what that means. As a Christian right now, he probably does not even recognize that that comes from Jesus. Okay, um, so his response then is, the, so for you, this is not about an open and honest search for truth. Uh-uh. It's all about power and control. It's about bullying those who dare to disagree with your own tyrannical vitriol. Time to grow up and grow up hair, eh? <laughs> so, okay, so those are, those are little ways of putting people down that is important to them. And ultimately, what that does is it tells us the quality of the moat in his eye. The stuff that he's carrying, the stuff that is unresolved. He is not poor in spirit. What is emerging right here is what is based on his judgments that he carries. He's acting out exactly like anybody would, and he's doing exactly what he should do. We've just evolved, and now we got problems because they are in society causing problems. But what happens? What is, what is this? Look at it. What does this exactly say? Seriously, this is... So for you, this is not about an open and honest search for truth. Where would you get that? What he wants to do, what, he's, what he wants to do is step back into that science is worshipped like religion is what he wants to fight over, and it's total bullshit. But then what does he do? He calls that truth. Is it truth? No, it is not. He is improperly using verbiage, period. So for you, this is not about open and honest search for truth, so he doesn't know what open and honest search for truth is. He's got a belief. Uh, uh, I don't know what the stuttering is. It's all about power and control. You guys watch my channel? Yeah, it's all about power and control. It's about giving you power and control over your life like the material teaches. Taking power and control for yourself, not turning it over to something else that is higher that you worship like an idol and then run around like a moron throwing poop on people's walls. It's all about bullying those who dare to disagree with your own tyrannical vitriol. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously hasn't watched any videos or can't understand them or can't read this stuff on his own. Anyway, look at the example of everything he throws at you is exactly what he's doing. It's, it's like there's the fruits right there. Do you see the cause and effect? Here, look at this last one again. It's, this is not about an open and honest search for truth. For him, it is not. He's not open and honest. It's about power and control. I am not trying to establish power and control. He is. It's about bullying those who dare to disagree with your own tyrannical vitriol. So he's trying to bully me because I disagree with his tyrannical vitriol. Time to grow up and grow up here, eh? What this tells me is that he is operating from a standpoint of um, like holding manhood or the mental idea of manhood over somebody. And the only way that you're a man enough is if you come and play his game. You just got to unwrap that and go, Psh, what a... What a child. Okay, that doesn't matter. And this pisses them off. But and you know what? I, um, that's okay. People need to hear this and they need to know that. And they need to know what's going on and how to manage these things. Okay? So the person has already set conditions that are opposite. Totally wrong. That's mental dishonesty. Absolute mental. It, it's either mentally dishonest or incredible cognitive dissonance. 
Somebody doesn't even think. They just, it's like, wow, that's crazy. So th- this is a good example. He also is doing what? It's tyrannical vitriol and name calling and, you know, like trying to rise up above. And then you, and you're like, wow, this is quite the example of, of how bad people can get. And yeah, yeah I've, I've had Muslim males come at me. Tell me how life started without God. Well, I don't know. Tell me it cannot start without God. I don't know. It cannot start without God. Tell me it cannot start without God. You answer me. And you're like, come on, man, back off. (laughs) At some point you realize you cannot have conversations with these people. There's no mental reasoning. Their minds are slammed shut and they're coming at you with all kinds of what? What they're bringing with them. He brought every bit of that to the table. He told us about him. He told us about him. Read it. Look at it. All right. And does he know the Bible? Well, look, look at it again. Here's somebody that's a Christian and look at the way that the behavior is and the conduct. What does that tell you? That means this person believes that all he has to do is worship God, believe in God, bingo, I'm going. There's no values there. I've talked about that on many other channels. In Christianity, it's idol worship religion and we can see it in practice right here. What are those values? Would you go to heaven and live fraternity with someone like this? I can't stand him for a couple minutes. Okay, now I've got an example of it's kind of a different personality type even though they're in the same camp. There's another person that is also just really just like immature language, really a lot of strange stuff. We'll go through it here and is is actually the, the guy we just talked about, the real anger dude, this this other guy is trying to connect up with him. But but I think even the anger dude is like he's he's very simple and doesn't have as much complexity as this other person. But the other person is it's a different kind of personality. This is kind of the um, these are the ones that get out there in space someplace and start thinking that they're some kind of prophet somehow. Yeah, it's weird. But if you were to read through, you will see what he's doing is he's trying to use like young. And so what we have, again, is a religious person trying to utilize science to prove themselves and just grabbing so much stuff. You're like, that. those don't even fit anyway. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this next one. Again, because it's a different person, a different personality, and he's got different things going on. He's still from that same camp over there that's going to act the same way. His first comment was this. And it's after the same video, the video about science. Um, Religious science is an oxymoron. One is faith-based. One is truth-based. If one is truth, if, if, if a faith-based something becomes truth-based, it is no longer supernatural. (laughs) Is it okay? Well, people just try to blend those anyway. They can't keep the two separate. Okay. So his comment is, you are so sure of yourself, aren't you? That is what I love about you. Except they put a question. Man, I don't know. Carl Jung's work, as well as The Heart of the Darkness, Homer's Odyssey, The Bible, Most Mainstream Religion, Theology, The Story of Nebro and Sokolos, Prometheus, blah, 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 as well as the movies and songs, even science like Relativity, Black Body, Hawking, <laughs> all come from Epic of Gilgamesh and Sun Worship Knowledge. This I can prove. Okay, so I can tell you what. He has read a lot of things. He does not know how to sort them. This is just a pile. This is a filing cabinet. You open it up and nothing is filed. Everything is just shoved in there wadded up and everything else they already knew the same science before we were taught it yeah this core template was from way back then he doesn't know what he's talking about he's still trying to think it's supernatural they don't even teach anything important about it i think he probably means today this is why you were yeah that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to teach something i'm trying to teach it uh this is why you are not supposed to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil a spectrum a very spectrum needs an opposite but they are one and the same and don't exist without each. Okay. So we see someone that looks like they may not have their meds sorted out, honestly. And it's just because the scatter is so incredible. When you interpret it down and you continue to, to uh, manage things that the, the, um, the eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil means I'm beginning life experiences. And as a result of life experiences, I'm going to lose my childhood happiness and that I'm going to begin to experience the world out there and I'm going to have cyclical pain and it's going to continue on until the world is so raucous I need to flood it out myself. So I don't look at these things as literal sorts of things. You have to put some kind of meaning to them. And if you play them out in the psyche and put them on a template, they're going to be something that is interactive, that fits in a structure of analogs in a mental hierarchy that is always maintained. That's a difficult thing to see, and of course, not very many people do see it. He certainly doesn't see it. He says things to me like, you are too cute. He said one down here like, sleep tight, my sweet prince. So there's some really weird 
not comfortable communication things going on that tells me he's that I haven't quite got that figured out. Think about this for a second. Put yourself in a room with five or six people. We're having a conversation together. Would you talk that way? If you would, you'd be out of the room. Don't think you're going to do it here. That's bullshit. How stupid are you? All right. He's got so many comments up that I'm not going to pull. I'm just going to grab a few here and there. They're all kind of much the, the, the same sort of a thing. He had one where he said, um, um, I don't think I posted it here. Let's see. Oh, here we are. Um, why delete almost everything I said if you are not scared of the truth? You didn't even argue any of it, just deleted it. Okay. I didn't delete anything. <laughs> I will tell you this. I have no filter set except for one that I don't allow people to post links because I was getting, you know, people were posting links to sex sites and things like that. So I'd shut that one down. Everything else I leave open for communications. And I'm, I'm actually very open with communications, but the communication is not what you think it is. Most people that come here to communicate are not coming to communicate. A few do, but people like you are not coming to communicate. You've come to slam bash tear down, disrespect something. You've come for something different. And I know that you did not come to communicate. You came to fight and you don't get to play. When I say this is my channel and that high horse is a broomstick pony, that's exactly what I mean. You don't call the shots on this channel. You don't tell me how to respond or what to, what my topic is. However, YouTube will, if you're using abusive or threatening or bad language you can see that mine we got quite a bit in there i had earlier videos that had to be taken down because as rules tightened up it it some of the pictures that i had in there alluded to the idea of suicide by rope by hanging because that happened to my brother it wasn't there for anything other than to illustrate a point but that was not allowed and they took down the entire video because of that picture you go to other channels, you cannot get away with saying some of the things you can say on my channel. But when you get over the top, it's out of my hands. YouTube will say, yeah, we don't allow that on our platform. If you're threatening or doing things like that, they will take it off. I deleted nothing. Look at all the stuff that's on here that you posted. What do you got, like 30, 40 posts up there? I didn't delete anything. And quite frankly, if I look at the tone that you're using with me, the verbiage, the accusation, the way you're treating me, I, I'm more inclined to think that... YouTube is taking your comments out of there because you're probably doing and saying things that they don't allow. Just look at the entire tone of your comments. Okay, I'm kind of launching into a lecture on him, aren't I? Yeah, I have some things that I do want to say, but it's like, you know what? I'm going to say them here. You don't get to interrupt. <laughs> you don't like that? Guess what? Go make a video. Invite me to come and see it. All right, let's go on to what other crazy stuff there is. What is your knowledge for other than proving how bitter you are? Why are you so bitter? Why act like you are enlightened when you are as petty as it gets? Who do you think you are fooling? Yeah, see the tone? The guy wants to, what is he doing here? And you don't know how to answer a simple question, ever. You know very well there was no hate speech, you just running from the truth. You are as fragile as it gets. Nothing but bubble boys and girls regurgitating things they don't understand with no purpose behind anything they do. <laughs> well, <laughs> too holy for your own shadow are you. And you know what? I've got like maybe five or four, five, six, maybe replies to, he's got about 20 or 30 comments. So he's just like, it's going into a blabber thing. Yeah. Look at the last one here. Not at all. I like messing with people that think they are smart. It's my hobby. All right. That's fine. Fair enough. I see what he's here for. It's on the table now to be sure. I'm not sure if I've ever used the term smart in my videos before. So he just brought that to the table too. Thank you. No free will for those that can't control their own Laurent. Yeah, okay, well, we know about la uh, control issues, don't we? <laughs> okay, and then he made a comment. Okay, now here's the final, the, the good one. So the first guy that was, you know, telling, telling me that science is a religion and that the question that he thought I didn't have enough manhood to answer was why we would believe in science without faith. <laughs> he jumps on. A comment thread there this guy jumps on a comment thread there and says that I will refuse to have a debate that I'm not honest enough to have a debate now look through the comments do you know what a debate is do you know what a debate is a debate is a two parties at least minimum two parties they get together and have a controlled and open discussion back and forth over 
a previously discussed topic. What is this going to be about? Here's what we're going to cover. Here's the viewpoints. Here's the oppositions. Here's where we're going to get the we're going to get together. Here's how we're going to control it to make sure everybody else gets an opportunity. He's not, then he's going to go tell people that I don't want to debate. What he, what he's really doing is he wants to, what is he doing? He's bashing the shit out of me and wants me to fight with him. Well, and I shouldn't pick on him. You can see how much is in there. It's like, you look and go, yeah, this is just a a blend of everything. It's a, it's kind of crazy. Um, but why act like a jerk? You want to have a discussion. You don't do it like that. Hey, I'd like to talk to you about what I understand. How come you think you're so smart, you moron? How come you won't have a discussion with me? Doesn't that connect in your head somehow? Can you not flip it and put yourself in the other person's shoes? You believe in God, but you don't understand what Jesus teaches. All right. Well, I wanted to say that in this video because they gave me an opportunity. We run into this all the time. Um, and, and in cases like this, yeah, the, the, the other guy that was going on and on and on, I had to shut him down. He's too creepy. He's got some weird stuff. That's just, yeah, I, I don't get that many comments. This is the most active comment thread I've had in a long time. So, um, it's not positive, but at least it's action, it's activity. So, and it's a teaching thing. We, we're going to run into this. They, they, they don't have exactly the same brain type, but they have the same kind of, there's something going on there that there's just not a a capacity to communicate and then they will tell you you can't communicate okay and then we're just obviously then from a larger overview perspective we can look at this and go well dan's channel is all about that template and finding a way to make this interactive and to make it something that is self-healing that makes a person feel good but that it's a self it's, it's an individual path that that's what his channel is about that's what his topic is i got bigger things going on here So I'm not going to stop and respond and react. You don't dictate the flow of how my time is. All right, Shuggy and Martin. Martin, I want to help you with some thinking here. Do you know that you are like trying to use science, C.G. Jung, psychological processes to try to prove God? So you're using science right there as a vehicle to give you credibility, even though you're not going to go talk about the supernatural part, you're just going to stay with the science part. Yeah, I see that. That's, you're not, you're not unusual there. That's what you have to talk about. That's solid. Um, but you are trying to buddy up with Shuggy, whose first line was, Science is just religion and it's being taught around the world and it's wrong. So here you're bringing science to, to, and supporting somebody, why are you supporting that person when that person is telling you your science isn't even right? Because that doesn't even matter to you. That's not what you care about. What is, what is truth? And I talked about this on the last video. What is their foundation? If you want to question science viability in any way, shape or form, identify your foundation. If you want to ask me a question, I don't need your foundation. But if you're going to come in and say something that everybody in the world knows is true, is false, where are you coming from? Nowhere. You're just talking. I am working and offering up my findings. When somebody comes along and slams a pile in my, at my feet and tells me to respond to that or else something is wrong with me, whew. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got problems in society, don't we? People cannot think anymore. They can't put themselves in somebody else's shoes. They don't even know what's going on. It's us. It's me against you. If you're not on my side, then you're on that side. They got me pegged as a, as an atheist speaking against God. And I, t- I really seek God and find a way to interact with this material. Well, anyway, um... It's, you turn it inward, the narrow gate. Yeah, all of that. They haven't done that. They don't know that. But they're responding to what you can see is incredibly simple programming. There's, there's no depth there. And the attack is setting things up that are like completely conflicted to begin with and then telling you to respond to that. And you're like, get out. Come on. You're not even serious. I can't even think of a parallel thought process you know it's so ridiculous it would be like if somebody said you can't drive 
there's no way to explain it. You can't explain it to me. And you start with, okay, here's how the car is made. And the first thing you do is you take the key and turn it on. And the person goes, no, you don't. It won't work. Well, yes, it does. You take the key and you turn No, it won't. It's like you can't even get past that. Meanwhile, way downstream, they can't even go there. And the only way I can explain that is different brain types. We look for different things. People that seek, the, the few chosen that seek, are people that sort this through mentally, that process it through. We're the ones on the outskirts that need to know reality. The people inside need to know just to respond. You, if, it, if I say danger, then just act danger. Just treat everything as danger. And that is what is playing out. There's a simple creature operating within the parameters of a more complex system. And it's not doing a good job. Anyway, <laughs> you just shake your head and go, well, I don't know. Just stick to the templates, huh? This was interesting, though. It was fun to do. And, and you know what? When I go out there and I, I still look for people to do, find this and I run into issues. So if you ever find yourself in my shoes, finding this template and trying to talk to people, you're going to run into this stuff. So, man, this is kind of just talking it through, looking at it, seeing for what it is, trying to figure out how to deal with it. <laughs> Don't get caught up in it. But it's important to recognize that sometimes, I mean, the things that when we have issues to resolve, we have to continually visit them until we're comfortable with them. Then they're no longer issues. It's the same thing here. Where these people make you incredibly uncomfortable. What do you do? Keep turning away, keep turning away. They're always going to make you uncomfortable. To know exactly what they are, where they come from, and how they tick is comfort. They're sitting there l laughing and laughing because you won't, because you can't manage a conversation with them. Meanwhile, you're up here going, what a bunch of kids. Look at them. <laughs> All full of themselves and they can't see the big picture. Meanwhile, they have varying degrees of incorrect small claims that they're, they're going to continually tell themselves that you've got something wrong with you because you won't go and just fight over the veracity of ridiculous claims. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it amounts to mentally. Then how do they add weight to it? Well, your balls must not be big enough then. If that isn't monkeys just flinging shit on the wall, what is it? <laughs> well, anyway, that's, gonna, that's the way it's going to be. They are a part of the many called. The few chosen actually seek and knock for righteousness. This means looking for reality. So basically they're allowing the teachings of the church later on to circumvent the idea that you should study this guru and understand what he is teaching. Just carry it, worship him. That's it. That's why Christianity looks the way it does. People don't know what Jesus teaches and they don't follow it. They're idol worshiping. You throw Jesus stuff at them and they don't get it. They don't, they don't understand it. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. It's, um, it was really meant to address the, the comments. And honestly, yeah, I know I did, I've done that before too. It's easy to lead those comments because they're stuck in those loops. They are. It's so predictable. And they will get mad at you because you don't go play in those loops with them. And then question your manhood for not doing it and things. That's telling us all about them. It is very tribal. Okay, they're doing exactly what they, what their brain type is leading them to do. It's going to happen. We have to know that that is their brain type guiding them and how to manage that. At the same time, for me, if somebody is like, plays that aggressive thing and thinks your, your job is to be passive and if you come back at them, you know, then they get mad and call you aggressive. I don't play that either. Christians, you, you're not picked on. <laughs> crying out loud you only the measure you meet is the measure you get i'm okay with that when you turn the other cheek and the healing and you let it all go that's a mental process that's how this material works then what as within so without but if it's not done up here it's not going to be out there and guess what it's not out there and that's that's it's an individual process it only works for you to take the path and if you love and peace it doesn't make everybody suddenly take the path or become love and peace. So it's up to you to decide how much love and peace you want and still tell people, hey, don't get in my face and give me shit. You got nothing. Get out of here. There's nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> okay.
You don't have to passively take people pushing you around. Sometimes doing this honestly makes them come after you more, which is fine. They got nothing. They come at me with just what? Instead of one wet noodle, two of them. Uh, perfect. Come on, guys. Yeah. What you have is name calling. It's not going to work. I'm 65. I don't care if I have balls or not. <laughs> My wife's happy. What does that tell you? All right. <clears throat> Everyone else, uh, yeah, comments and questions. Got any weird people you have to deal with, strange situations? How would you manage it? Uh, cause and effect. Look at how people demonstrate themselves by what they say and what they throw out and what their fears are by what they try to threaten you with. Yep, exactly. That is being known by our fruits. That is emerging from a person's garden. And it might look not exactly that way because what you're seeing is the, a wall, fear, shame, hurt, something like that that is ahead of it. It is being driven by something. That is how you observe it. All right. Hope the video was fun and uh, see you in the next one.